All right, we just got the dash completely unhooked. Just got to run some cables back through. And it'll be out. So basically what you're going to need, you're going to need a 7 millimeter socket. You're going to need a 15 millimeter socket and a 5 16 socket. You're going to have one screw and speed nut right here. That's 5 16. You're going to have four. It goes across the front of the dash there. Those are the seven millimeter screws. And then you're gonna have a few under here. You're gonna have one right here, one over there. Just behind this, which is right here. And then you've got a couple over on the other side. And at this point, we already had the steering column down, but it's just four screws, or well, nuts rather, and then it drops completely out. You'll have to take the universal joint off of the steering shaft. And then once you have the steering column removed, then you've got one bolt straight above it. And you come over here and you've got your lower, I guess you'd call it a knee pad or panel brake, uh, bracket, whatever. And you have one 15 millimeter bolt here. And then if you look for this little uh, notch cut out and you look straight up, you can see where the last 5 16 bolt goes in. Since we already had everything removed, radios out, HVAC panels out, ashtrays out, uh, all those things either slide pull out and screw in at some point, very simple. And from there, then you can just pick the dash up and out. You'll just have to feed your cables back through. Also in conjunction with the rest of those bolts, you got one 5 16 bolt straight back from this other one that was here. So after you do that, again, everything just has to lift up and out. You can see how it's lifted here. Just feed all your cables back through and you're good to go.